Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and in today's video we're gonna showcase Mithrala. Where do I use my Mithrala and we're gonna see something that I've never seen, I've never tested which is I want to see Mithrala soloing Iron Twin. Is it doable or no? I have my Mithrala built in a region gear. I might, I might manual at one point but most of the time I just want to see how will she do. Now we have a six star uh, since she's resisting, I don't think there is a point of using A3, to be honest. So just A2 to get more increased defense. Okay, she's doing nice. She's doing great. Maybe I can just uh, switch the perception gear into, like, divine. Into immortal or, like, defiant. She's full speed so far. Okay. Okay, you can do it, Mithrala. I, I trust in you. You can do it. Keep it keep it up, please. She's actually healing enough. That's because I have her like at I think 100 k HP now. Okay, you can do it. Yo, these extra speeds are helping. Okay, you know what? Let me just I'm just gonna use A1, A3, A1, A3. Because, like, the A3 is just waste of turns. Like, we technically don't care about A3. Okay, she's gonna go again, I think. Okay, I think we need to use A3. I see why. Look look how much damage she's taken. Uh, strengthen, at least, like, look, see? Strengthen does help in tanking the damage. Uh, did he resist? Why am I taking much more damage now? Okay, let's just put it back on auto. Oh, my. Quad hit. No, survive. Thank you. Survive longer. Okay, almost doing it. Dude, she's almost doing it. I wondered, like, if a plus four Mithrala would do it at this point. No, survive longer. Okay, okay. She, she's surviving. She's doing it. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> she survived. Almost. Yeah, just survive. Do it. What is your heal? Oh, that was... Okay, never... That was uh, a counter-attack. I thought that was, like... That was it. Dude, she's supposed to take more turns. Oh, my... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Okay, I think that's his passive. Because, like, the longer the fight, the, the more damage he will do. So, uh... Mistala, how did I... How did I build her? Uh, no, not this. Recently used... First, uh, I might have my Mithrala in region plus perception. Uh, why region? Because I use Mithrala into uh, dragon in, in a dragon 10, and I need her like in region gear to uh, survive long enough to region enough uh, to uh, solo the boss by herself. So if we go and see my uh, dragon 10 team, uh, it's just this team basically. Uh, where is the team? Let's take out Ecclesia. Uh, and just put whatever, like literally whatever. So this is a whatever champion. And let's go to Mithrala and make sure we turn off her A3 on the boss because I don't want her, you know what? And turn off. I just want her to A1 the boss. So is that doable? Let's see. So where do I use Mithrala? I don't use her in Arena as much because uh, uh, I have Cardi and I have Sifi. So, and on the third, like, uh, I do use her in uh, 3v3, so that's technically a thing you could use her in. Uh, I use her in, like, Doom Tower against Doom Tower bosses whenever I need, like, to, to stay. How did the boss land on my Mithrala? Is that 3% or something? Now everyone will die. So this is where Mithrala, like, like, do the, like, uh, kill the boss. All by herself. She doesn't need anyone else. So if she can do this, that means she can also do the wave. And that was a 34 seconds Dragon 10 team. Uh, these champions are like just to kill the wave. And Mithrala by herself can do the boss. Uh, another content where I use Mithrala to speed up the farm is basically Iron Twin. I use her in Iron Twin because she does bring a lot to the table. A lot. Like, she bring up the poison to get the boss down faster. She bring uh, Smite, uh, aka Brimstone. Uh, accuracy Aura, which is the most important one, to make the build as uh, viable as possible. Uh, sorry, 
to make that like building the champions much easier like you could see that like the shiro is literally like and 300 accuracy and he's less than 300 and he's able to land his debuffs uh, because of the accuracy lead here so yeah if you have a mithrala you could use it in iron to win uh, i think now with brimstone uh well it's not i think i'm sure she can solo dragon 10 okay it's going to be a long solo like three three minutes but she can do it okay if you need a a solo for the dragon 10 mithrala can 100 do it yeah uh, you know what let's just go and do it why not why not as well so uh it's uh so the solo is basically no strength and a3 is turned off a3 and a2 are turned off on the boss and she is going to we're going to do damage just by having brimstone and the brimstone will do all the damage so So, uh, the run was four minutes and a half. So, I don't know how happy you are with four minutes. But, hey, if you don't have a Corvus, if you don't have a Tomb Lord, you have a Mithrala for sure. And if you did this all event, you actually don't need the five star. The five star, like, it is a bit overkill if you look at the stats. Like, we're talking about uh, 75 here and 75 here. You could literally do that without the five, the six star soul. Sorry, the five star. You could do it totally with the four star soul. The f the more souls you have, it's like uh, the better against dungeon hard because if you have five star soul, you technically uh, take twenty percent less damage just because you have that. So stats. Okay, let's go to dragon. So what's my methodology stats in dragon? Ninety five k HP, forty point four point two defense, four point two k defense. Uh, 312 speed i do believe that having above 250 speed helps a lot because you need to be faster than the boss having her uh, like around 350 it might not be like something you could afford but 350 will make her go like three uh three turns on uh versus two i think so she will be much safer uh do you need region i am sure you could do it with uh, bolster plus immortal okay if you don't have a good region gear but my region gear is like this is my third best region gear like this one is five star not even awakened this one has only one rolls in speed this one is one of the worst pieces i have on my account this is probably the only fine one uh we can just give it one more yeah, this is literally the only fine one I have. It doesn't even have accuracy as well. The boot doesn't even have good rolls. It's just the speed on speed. Uh, this one <laughs> has triple attack. Quad attack on an HP. So this is literally just the leftover. But she has an insanely good banner to be honest. HP on HP. Triple speed and defense HP percent. So this is by far my best HP uh, banner on my entire account by the way. Two percentage. Rolled HP and speed. We get a max uh, six star speed roll on the first hit. The uh, def defense might be overkill. Is there anything else we could feature her? I mean, you could try her in, in arena, but everyone knows how she can do in arena, so I'm not gonna do that. And for Hydra, you you probably watched enough videos about that. So yeah, 
Uh, sadly, she wasn't able to solo the Sand Devil. Can we try it again? I feel like we could. Okay, let's try it again. Can she do it? Okay, I'm just gonna waste 20 more energy for no reason. Just because we can, not because we want to. Uh, I think. Uh, which ability was? Like, the longer you stay in the fight, the uh, more damage you will take. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Uh, I could swear there was one where he does more damage the longer the fight lasts. Dynamic went to fell by 10% for each buff. Oh, so, okay, let's just do it A1s. Can we try A1s only? Let's see. Okay, we got the... We, we blocked his uh, stupid uh, ability. Maybe because we're buffing too much, so we he's taking much more turns than he's supposed to. Okay, that's nice uh, chunk from poison. Okay, no. Okay, now it's it's not gonna happen. I have to use the other abilities. Yeah. If I don't take the next turn, I will die here. Yeah. We have to use the other abilities. I don't think it's doable. We need to kill him faster. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Mithrala and Dungeon. And she can pretty much solo Dragon and do some decent damage in other dungeons. Uh, you could use her actually in... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit? In Fire Knight Hard. But you probably have Newt. You don't need her. And uh, she's kind of like not the best. Oh wait, we could use her in Shagoon to be honest. One second. So I'm just gonna do this. Chogan, uh, bring back the Shiro. Let me just. This is my team, right? Let me see if this team work. Ooh. Okay, let me see. This is not a speed tune team, but in this team, she can do some 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 work because we can increase attack here. We don't have increase decrease defense. Hopefully, we land it. Now we spread, we take a turn, we cleanse. Uh, which one is unkillable? Yeah, unkillable. Cleanse. A1. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bye-bye. was nice meeting you, Mr. Shogun. Or Chogun. Or whatever your name is. A1. Oh, we're not doing any damage. Now he's gonna do it. So yeah, you could totally use Mithrala here. Uh... Always A2 or A1 first, and then you cleanse after, like, the boss do the thing. Do the spread debuffs. So, yeah, that's another content, which is actually nice. I I used to use her in my Shogun team, but I replaced her with uh, with Patrick, the ally attack champion. Because I do kind of think that Patrick is actually does help making everything faster. This is my Shogun team. And yeah, that's it for today. So thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And uh like the video if you like the content and if you have any question always leave in the comment section below and i will be glad to answer thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one peace